So we're starting with the skeletal system. So what does that include? Uh, well, the skeletal system is consists of bone. It, that's a big one. Um, bone. Then also all the supporting connective tissue that connect bone to itself and other tissues. So cartilage, ligaments, why is this so, and then tendons can also be considered part of the connected um, skeletal system. Tendons connect bone to muscle. Um, so all the connective tissues that stabilize bones and then including bones themselves. So these are shown in the picture here. Um, the skeleton itself is primarily made of bone that is made up of the axial skeleton is like the straight axis. And then the appendicular skeleton is all the appendages. So the limbs that come off from there. We will in lab learn the bones, the names of them that make up, um, that will be comprised of these two systems that really work together. That's one way of categorizing bones. Also shown here are the cartilages that are important for connecting bones together and supporting the skeletal system. So hyaline cartilage is the light blue. A couple places, little places, costal cartilage, trachea would be another place we've seen hyaline cartilage. The place it's most prevalent in the skeletal system is as articular cartilage. So anywhere there is blue here, here, all between each of these joints, um, of the fingers, all throughout the body. This is um, hyaline cartilage that's called articular cartilage because it's at an articulation where a bone meets another bone. Um, okay, we'll see that a lot. Elastic cartilage, we won't see as much. You saw this in lab. Basically in humans, we've got the ear, stretchy ear. Fibrocartilage is found a few places. So fibrocartilage is a little bit stiffer than hyaline cartilage. Um, so it'll be a little bit more supportive. It's found um, the few places here shown in red. The two we'll see, um, well, the, the three we'll see are the cartilage in between the, the discs of the vertebrae that make up the spinal cord. Uh, the pubis symphysis is the one you already saw in lab, connecting the two pelvic bones. And then it is in meniscus the meniscus of the knee. So functions of this organ system. Most obvious ones are going to be basically support, protection, and leverage. So the bones themselves provide the structural support of the body, um, support the internal organs, really important internal organs inside the skull, vertebral column, and rib cage, sternum. Um, and leverage is primarily for movement, right? To allow um, having an anchorage for places, things to move. Maybe more subtle functions, but also really important is nutrient um, storage. So this includes, but isn't limited to, the two primary ones I'll talk about are lipids, so in the yellow bone marrow, fats, and calcium in the bone tissue itself. There are other minerals in the bone tissue as well, besides calcium. Calcium is a big one. We'll talk about the regulation of calcium um, from the storage in the bones to be in the blood plasma. Then last one, we've got um, blood cell production. So in red bone marrow, is that's the location of uh, all the production of our blood cells throughout our entire lives. So we'll focus mostly this week on bone. Um, a little bit of review and intro and cartilage is going to relate to some of bone's functions. Um, we'll talk more about cartilage and then more about um, ligaments when we get to talking about joints.